Beautiful mm. goal by Tolkien in this game. Thank God. Belgium, we're, we're moving on to the Belgian Belgian Portugal game. Yes, sir. So, be, so we'll say that first and foremost because I don't. I think we're gonna talk less about the game and more about just like what went on and like like the team cam and things like that because like this game was just a whole shit show of a game. But, yeah. Uh, beautiful. Yeah, that Tolkien goal. I literally jumped out the couch and I was like, yo, like that shit was nice. That was fun. Oh my God, what a beautiful strike from from the. From the left side, he struck it, mm, boosh, right but corner. Like once beautiful. again, it's like that was also a defensive mistake. Like they, they gave him so much time. Like they, they gave him too yeah, much he touches. Did have time. Like he had time and he had like two touches on the ball before taking a shot. Like you don't do, you do, know, do that, bro. Uh, do you know what's funny? Yeah. At the end of this game, my opinion changed. But early in the game, I'm like, is 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 Thorgan the better brother now? Like you know what I mean? Like is no. Thorgan better? No. Like you know, at at first I was like, yo, the way the form that that that. I'm not saying better overall. I'm saying, like, right now, the form that each of them are in, are they better? And you're saying not because we saw how Eden played at the end of the game. He nah, picked himself e- up again. Even before the game, but, bro. Come on. Bro, like, literally during that whole first half, I think I saw him do, like, one little nice fl- uh, flick, and I think he had, like, a back and forth with uh, with uh, Lukaku that he skied over the net. Yeah. But other than that, he was not noticeable. But, like, I kept noticing Thor- Thorgan. Like, he did... He kept cutting in and like taking shots, and I'm like, okay, yo, you, Thorgan, you're looking nice this game. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're you're looking good. And then he scored that goal. I'm like, shit. But we get into the second half, and then uh, the the two main boys of each squad come to life. <laughs> My man Eden, he said he said it's time, and Eden's running around the pitch doing his thing. And Ronaldo too sets up Jota with a beautiful chance. Who we'll get into him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what else we got? We had the KDB injury. KDB got injured. It then got injured at the end and hopped off. Um, so I guess like for this game, like the the summary is 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 less important because there was only one goal. It's more about like kind of like like the little things that went on. Like for one, to me, I don't know about to you, but to me, C- Portugal was clearly like intending to injure these star players, bro. Like you know, like they were looking to take out KDB. They were looking to take out Eden. They succeeded. Like they were looking to take those guys the hell out. That's even Lukaku felt. Even Lukaku got himself a little something. Like yeah. you know, like like that was a rough game. Portugal was not playing like soft, and I'm surprised they didn't get more yellows than they did. Yes. Like you know, they were not playing soft. And our main man, you want to talk about baby face assassin? You not baby face. You want to talk about bald head? My my shiny chrome dome assassin, Pepe. <laughs> like he he that guy is a menace. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's a menace to society. He doesn't bro. give a fuck about nobody. He doesn't, he doesn't give a fuck, fuck who you are, but, bro. Shit. You know what's so funny, though? Like, players like him... I think about, like, Ramos, right? You know how a lot of people don't like Ramos because he's always, like, you know, taking people out, getting reds, etc., mm. right? I know a lot of people used to not like Pepe, but after not seeing him in the game for so long, like, I... Even though he's a piece of shit, <laughs> I fucking love Pepe. <laughs> like, you know I mean, like I like to have a Pepe on my team. You know what I'm saying? He's like, how about a, you? He's such a clown, bro. Like, I fuck with him. I fuck with him. Like, I feel like he played well today and all that bullshit. But I don't know, man. Like, I, I don't like Pepe. I don't, I don't like Pepe, oh. bro. He's made he's made too many of my teams suffer, bro. But like, I if Pepe, <laughs> if Pepe was one of if Pepe was one of my like if he was on my squad, like y'all say I fuck with you, but like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pepe, you know, this guy will literally like this guy will literally like take three stops on your toes and and walk to the ref smiling like yo, what did I do? What did I do? I didn't do anything. This motherfucker, is, like, this motherfucker dives like a bitch, bro. Like shit. <laughs> Pepe was also a fucking diver, bro. Like this, this guy. At, bro, the, at the end of the game, he had a run. He had a run. This guy just drops to the floor. That's my life with shit. Like, come on, bro. Like, you don't do that. <laughs> don't don't do that. Yo, man, for his age though, for his age and people thinking he's washed, like, damn, bro, he's still looking like he's prime. He's still looking uh, good. To me, like, to me, he's one of those elite defenders. Like, he can't. He, he has yeah, to be yeah, up there. Yeah, he's a legend. Yeah, he has to be up there, especially especially for legend. Portuguese football, especially. Oh. F- Oh, bro, and like that's another thing. This team, I'm so I'm so sad for. Like, obviously, I prefer Belgium. I wouldn't be wearing this if I didn't. But uh, like, this Portugal team might be the best collection of players that you've ever had in the history of this team because it's very likely that the next time this team is on the international stage, Ronaldo might not be there. Like, he might be there for the World Cup, but at, like that might that's probably his last Euro. I don't know if he's gonna be on the next Euro. You know, what I mean, your time. Yeah. Ronaldo is running short, and his time is running short too. Because Ronaldo, like, he still beautiful passes, beautiful touches, beautiful dribbles, can still shoot the ball. 
but he can't run like he used to anymore. Like you know what I mean? He doesn't have that that pace yeah. anymore like he exactly. used to. <laughs> to and me, to me, that guy is he, He's not even a soccer player anymore. He's a business. <laughs> <laughs> like that guy he's a, he's a straight business he's not a soccer player to me anymore bro like this guy literally he goes he goes in and changes my halftime he changes the cleats he changes the shoes changes the freaking shirt fixes like, his hair yeah like, like bro did, like, he change he, his, did he change his cleats and, it, and, and, and his shirt like what did he actually I know I, I know he changed his shirt for sure the cleats I'm not a hundo but I know I know last game he changed the cleats and I was like bro like like do we need to do all of that like we don't we don't need to do all of that you really don't need to do that just go out there do your job get me a dub and that's it but nah he has to come out pretty he has to take his free kick look pretty fix the hair and everything like bro you're a business man I mean he does you know that hair that hair was looking uh, good though. like, <laughs> like yeah you know, every every game he has the same curl perfectly curled right here yo that's yo, a look he, that's a look for the curly haired Ronaldo is a look bro like he didn't yo, rock that that much in yo have you ever been on the Cristiano Ronaldo website no <laughs> but I mean he I advertised <laughs> He advertises everything. Dude, buffet, boxers, cleats, everything. He's a business, that guy. Yeah, he has, he has, yeah, I saw that. He has CR7 boxers. I saw that when he uh, swapped jerseys. With yeah, 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 to show off. Actually. Yeah, to show off with Mbappe, I think it was. Yeah, with Mbappe. So, oh, my Lord. I mean, shit, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. If I'm if I'm any player and I face Cristiano Ronaldo in internationals, I'm trying to get that jersey. And uh, even, in, even in clubs, I'm trying to get that jersey. Nah, big time. That's a jersey swap right there. Yeah, you know like, what I mean? Yo. I could be a no-name guy, bro. I could be no-name, nobody. I'd be like, yo, Ronaldo, you, you, you don't even need to take my jersey, but, like, yo, can we swap? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, love, I, I love how people still, like, you know, some people respect him, some people don't fuck with him. But you know, some people, some people like they respect him. I seen, I seen a, a young boy taco. Ronaldo's the goat. He's the goat in my opinion. But I mean, yeah, like I, I've seen, I've seen people debate not too long ago, like yesterday or something, and then it, it was, it was exactly what you said, like technically, like skills wise, like Messi's the goat and this, that, whatever. And the only argument that we have for Ronaldo is the fact that yeah, he wants something internationally. You know, so he's, he's just. He's just one more, like, like better stats. Like, he's also older, but, like, you know. Um, yeah, like, Messi's definitely more talented. Yeah. But, like, talent doesn't equate to, like, I would say that, like, KD is more talented than, like, Michael Jordan. Remember, there was, like, someone who was saying that, like, they were arguing about that whole thing with Kerr, right? Yeah. But nobody, I don't think anybody's saying that KD is better than Michael Jordan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's not even in the same debate as Michael Jordan, I mean, right? I think he but, should be. But he's eventually. more... What? Eventually, <laughs> eventually he will be, bro. What? If KD, if KD gets three, cha- if KD gets three championships with, with Brooklyn, bro, he will be in that conversation, bro. With three championships with Brooklyn? If he gets three chips with Brooklyn, he's gonna be in that conversation, bro. I promise. You, you. think he's winning three championships with no, Brooklyn? No, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I think he's gonna win three championships with Brooklyn. I said if he wins champ- three championships with Brooklyn, he will be in that conversation. I'm not, okay. I'm not saying he, the I'm not saying the likelihood of that it. happening is very low. Yeah, I'm, exactly. So like, I'm not saying he's gonna do it. The likelihood it. of that is very low. Okay, but anyways, let's not talk about that. Let's talk about like right now. He's not. No, yeah. That's it. Right? Like right? Okay. So that's that. That's kind of the thing with like, like, like Messi. Messi still won a lot. Like you know, he still won a lot. So it's not like as comparable. But like. He he hasn't won international, and this guy plays in Copa America. Where no fucking offense, you should win a you should win a, a a Copa America with the team you've had over the years. Like I know Brazil's in there, but Brazil hasn't been nothing nothing special as of late. And then who else do you guys got in there? Colombia, like you know what I mean? Like yeah. who else do you guys got in there? That's pretty much That's, it. Come on, bro. Chile. Come on, Messi. How to how do you not Chile? Like yeah, Chile's all right too. Like but who else? Who else do you guys got? Like who do you guys got? Nobody. All you have to deal with is Brazil. And let's be honest, like. Brazil hasn't been anything special over the last, like, 10 years, 10 to 15 years. They haven't been anything crazy, yeah. you know? <clears throat> so, I don't get, I don't know what the hell's up with that. But, um, anyways, back to this, uh, to this, uh, Belgium game, like, um, so we had, it was, it was violent, <laughs> it was, the, it was violent in that, uh, second half when the intensity picked up, when Portugal was like, yo, we need to do something, um, First half was pretty back and forth, I would say. Yeah. Right? Like, there was, like, Belgium dominated the beginning, Portugal dominated the middle, and then Belgium dominated the end, I would say. Um, And they scored. Then we go into the second half, and literally, I text KB. Mm -hmm. Like, we're, we're like, around the 50th minute. It was, like, 53rd minute. I'm like, bro, 
they're they're like, why the hell have we not seen Zhao yet? They need to put this guy into the game. I said like, if I'm this coach, I'm putting Bernardo, I'm, I'm putting uh, Bruno Fernandez and Zhao Felix into the lineup right fucking now. <laughs> and then uh, when did he put them in? Around like the sixty fifth minute. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. so so I'm jeez about it. <laughs> I'm like, yo, like these guys need to be in the lineup right now. They need to score, right? <laughs> they put them in. KB texts me. He's like, yo, they heard you. <laughs> like, man, but but they needed those guys in the lineup. And the and the way I saw Jao play today, I'm sorry. The fact that that guy has not played a single game, you didn't even try to test him in your system to see how he would fit, is an embarrassment. Mm-hmm. An embarrassment. That coach needs to go. Needs to go. I just think we're that not- guy. How? Yeah, I think Ronaldo needs to go to the, like that. What? I think I mean as in like as in like in order for these kids to be like to be comfortable on the pitch to play their actual games, I think Ronaldo needs to go. Like I feel like I feel like that that coach is Ronaldo's like I w I'm not gonna say Ronaldo's bitch, but like but he's a he's a GM on that team, you know, he's a coach, bro. Ronaldo Ronaldo decides what what the fuck goes on. Ronaldo basically decides Jao bro. Even group stage games, who they have? Oh yeah, that was a tough group. I can't even lie. But Josh should have seen minutes in the group, in group stages. Yeah, he should have seen minutes in he there. Should've. So like the fact that he has it, at least at least versus Hungary, like at least at the very least. But like still, like I think Jao is Jao, I think Jao's better than Diego Jota, man. I think Jao's better than who else? Who, who was on there? Who's on that next side? Bro, man? I think Bernardo I think Silva. I think Jao, I think Jao. Yeah, I think Jao's the second best player on the team. So like, like I know people are gonna say no, he's not. Like look at what Bruno Fernandez has done. Look at what Bernardo Silva has done. Those guys should be on the pitch too. They're great, but like, like first of all, the system that Atletico uses doesn't benefit Jao whatsoever, and that's why he can't perform. But look at Jao. This the in the limited minutes he played this game, I noticed him. I noticed him. He was more noticeable than Cristiano Ronaldo. He was more noticeable than Bruno Fernandez. He was more noticeable than. Than Jota, he was more noticeable than than literally the whole pit, the whole team. Um, and it's funny, and this is what I had it. What what I was thinking about when we were talking about like like um, players performing, right? Portugal put a young player into their lineup the year they won the Euro Cup in 2016. They put a young player into their lineup, and he it was arguably the best player on their team. Who is like, right Ronaldo was probably. Probably the best. I'm about to say his name. Like you can't figure it out. So I, I'm he was in the he was in their lineup today. You so not, I hope you're not talking about Renato Sanchez, bro. I am talking about Renato Sanchez. Oh my goodness. So, Sanchez. bro, Renato Sanchez, Renato Sanchez, like like won some award that that summer, bro. Like he he was he was Portugal's second best player on that team. Mm-hmm. That 2016 team, he was. So like, I, like I know he hasn't performed since. But like, like he hasn't performed that well since. But he was the second best player on that team, bro. He was. So, um, back then, y'all felt comfortable putting an eighteen-year-old into your lineup, and look what it did for you. He performed, and you guys ended up winning a Euro Cup. Right now, you have a young player, who, not even arguably, he is more touted, more well known, you know, all around better than Renato Sanchez was. Back then, like Ronaldo Sanchez, he was talked about, but not talked about like Jao Felix. You know what I mean? Jao Felix is talked about like in the same breath as Mbappe and Haaland and these young kids that are going to be the next Messi and Ronaldo's. You know what I mean? That's that's how this kid's talked about. Mm-hmm. How do you have that kid <clears throat> and you don't even try him? Don't even try him. The only minutes he got to play in a in an international, you know, ch- like championship game was the last twenty minutes of the knockout stage round of 16 game that's fucking hilarious bro like what is that what is that I'm makes just, zero sense I, to, I, me. I, to me to me it's just it's one of those where like i really do feel like he doesn't have a good relationship with with ronaldo like i even when i seen him on the pitch it's like yeah you made a difference but like the chemistry needs to be there between them two like you know it. he's the he's the next he's the next of that team but like but like how you not have a good relationship with the ogs like how you not i, I don't know how you not see i mean not to time? this not to diss Ronaldo, the, the only, uh, like, like he's still good, bro. Like, the little flashes I saw in this game, he was good. But, like, the most noticeable moments for me, for him, were, were like, when he took free kicks and only one of them was great, right? And yeah. um, the one play he made when he, like, kind of dribbled the squad and passed to Jota in the box and Jota skied it. Yeah. Those were, like, 
the two most noticeable things he did all game. The first free kick and that pass to Jota. And and otherwise, like it's like he wasn't doing much. And I think you might be right. I think that he wants more touches, but it's like you're not a winger. You're not playing wing. You're playing middle. You're a striker. And even you know what and, I mean, you wait. Yeah. You wait for the ball to come to you and you go finish. Like you're not like you're not like, you know, going all over the pitch and touching the ball a bunch like that. You're not that guy anymore, unfortunately. Exactly. And go ahead, bro. Yeah, like I feel like he has something to no, say. No, even then being even him being a striker for that team, it's kind of rough because because like Belgium's two center backs or I for, no no they're playing with three defenders but I forgot who the two defenders Vertogen out there or something and someone else Ald- Alder yeah and, uh, like for, I who the other for guys. Ronaldo to have to deal with all of this or at least one of them at a time is just like bro like you're that's when that's when being thirty six really fucking hits <laughs> that's when being fucking thirty six fucking hits. you don't have that speed no more like yeah you'll forever have your touches you'll forever have finish that's that's why I look at like this coach and I'm like you're an idiot because if you First of all, I would have played two strikers on Portugal. I would have played like Ronaldo and Jao at the top as my strikers. Yeah. Jota, I'm, I might put I might put Jota on the bench and just sub him in for one of them if you need to. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like one of Ronaldo or or thing. That's the thing too, right? Ronaldo's great and all, but maybe maybe you need to like you know rotate him into the lineup give him some subs get him some rest who knows like something to and he won't like that I know of course. and people won't even like me saying that but like you know and then like you run your mid like you know like Bruno Fernandez here, here, here's my thing like Bruno, Fern- Bruno Fernandez and Bernardo Silva should be on the pitch Danilo should be on the pitch and then Renato Sanchez maybe okay so that's like your that's your your four mids yeah however you want to place them yeah you know what I mean like maybe you do maybe you do uh, Bruno as your as your cam and then you do uh, Bernardo and uh, Bernardo and um, Renato in the mid and then you do Danilo as your CDM right so Jao Ronaldo at the top that's your mid like you know diamond in the mid and then defense whatever you know like, I, I don't know those players names other than Pepe mm-hmm. I don't really know who they have in the back yeah. like uh, no there's the other guy that you, you said you like a lot Ruben Diaz what's his name Ruben he Diaz. had a good season this year Ama- yeah. amazing he's season. center back or is he a fullback no, he's a center back center back yeah. so yeah Ruben Diaz Pepe and I don't know who their fullbacks are um, uh, but yeah like yeah. that to me in my head already sounds like a much better lineup than whatever the fuck they were playing today you know what I mean you're getting <laughs> you're getting Bernardo Silva off the bench. Sorry, no, you're getting Bruno Bruno Fernandez off the bench. You're getting Jao Felix off the bench, who never even got a chance to warm up or feel or get chemistry with his teammates. You're you're getting Danilo off the bench. Like, what is this team, bro? Like, what what is this coach? Like, I don't know. To me, that was just poorly managed. But either way, the team I was cheering for won. The team I wanted to win won. <laughs> so everything worked out in the end. Um, I wonder. I wonder what Ronaldo's role is gonna be for Portugal once he's done playing. I wonder if he's gonna be like sad or like you know something like that. Like, I don't think so. I think that like, I think that guy's made too much money. Is too much of a superstar to be, to do shit like that. You know what I mean? Like he's not one of those guys. Like there's superstar players that are bigger than the game, and they're stupid. Like I don't see like like LeBron. I don't see him doing anything other than maybe like owning a team. I don't see him like I I'll, I would never see LeBron on a sports panel. I would never see LeBron as a coach or as a GM. Like you know what I mean? Like he would never do those roles. That's not that's not what those type of players do. Yeah. You know, like. They, they're, they're, they're businessmen, you know? Like, like Thierry Henry right now, who's, like, an assistant coach, and then, like, uh, Daniele De Rossi, who's, like, coaching, uh, who's assistant coach on Italy. Like, those guys, they do those things. Uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger, you know? Those guys, they do those things. We know those guys. We know their stars. We know who they are. But if you said those names, even Thierry Henry to people, because I do it all the time. My name's, my name's Thierry, so, like, I go to people, and I'm, like, uh, like, if they're, like, oh, how do you pronounce it? I'm, like, you know the soccer player Thierry Henry? They'll be, like, nah, I don't know who the fuck that is. Like, people don't know these guys. Yeah. People don't know all these these legends that we know because we're following the sport. But if you say Cristiano Ronaldo or Leo Messi, they know exactly who the hell you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Even Mbappe starting to get up in that echelon too, you know what I mean? Like, there's certain stars that people know. Like, they might have never seen them play. You might not even put a face to them, but they've heard the name, you know? So, um, but, yeah. Um... I don't think Ronaldo's gonna be doing anything like that. I think he's just gonna sell his underwear, sell his sell sell his underwear, uh, and and just you know go 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 
to tropical places with his family and just like enjoy life. Like, you know, that guy's a business, bro. That guy's a fucking business. I mean, at the same time, I wouldn't be surprised if he played a role for a national team, bro. If Maradona was able to do it for Argentina, then I think he would not. He would not be. He would not be. Like I, I wouldn't count him out. Yeah, but Mar- 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 Maradona wasn't making bank like freaking Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, of course. But like, I feel like at this point, like if you if you do go back for your national team, you're not going for the money. You're going for the love of the sport. Like it's your national team yeah. at the end of the day. I, I can know? see I can see Ronaldo being like a like a trainer, but like not because not because of of who he was as a player, or more because of like who he is as a person and how into he fitness and stuff he is. Yeah, like, I see him that's, being that's, like a trainer. You know, yeah. but like. I mean, yeah, I, I, I just, I, I just, I don't see him being a coach or a manager. Like, nah, I don't see him being I, a manager. I'm just, uh, like, yeah, like, I don't see him being a coach or something, but I feel like he's going to play a role for that team, like, eventually. Like, when he retires, I feel like he's going to play a role for Portugal, whether it's, like, like, like I don't know, like, pick players or whatever. I have so, <laughs> They're going to make him president of operations, and he's never going to do anything. It's just for the Ronaldo name. Exactly. Like, they do, like, like Edmonton does with Wayne Gretzky while he's out in L.A. just living life, making wine. <laughs> like, he's, he's part of the business, but he really doesn't, like, appears in two meetings per year. Like, that's what these guys do, man. Exactly. But... Um. Anyway, um, you got anything? Anything else you want to add about this, like this, like Portugal Belgium game? Like there was only one goal, but like there was a lot of shit going on. I mean, like Portugal's Portugal at the end. I'll give them credit. Like they came in, they put that pressure on Belgium. They had Belgium shook at the end. Yeah, but they did that for like they only did that for like the last ten minutes, which I felt for me personally wasn't enough. Like their the sense of urgency wasn't there throughout the game. It was just there within the last ten minutes. And you're playing Belgium, like yeah, I get that. But still, like you got to put pressure on these boys. Not pressure as in you have to freaking break every single good play they have. But like you know know but create some shit and take fucking jiggle jota after freaking starting lineup but like you know that's that's pretty much it man that's pretty much all i have for this i'll say this i like diego jota so (laughs) (laughs) he he had a rough one though he had a rough game he didn't have a great game at all i'm seeing like i was looking online he's getting pretty torn apart by portugal fans so i feel bad for him